<laughs> hey everybody, what's hey guys. up? This is Stan and... This is Lem. Well, we've got something amazing for you today. We want to introduce a brand new product. As you know, we're launching a whole new line of incredible rotaries. And today we're going to show you something really, really special. We're going to talk about the Omni 2. So this is the next generation laser rotary. This right here that you see right in front of you is the Omni 1. So it's got the grip and the Pyburn 4 on the other end of it. It's like two rotaries in one. People love this thing so much, we have to take it up a notch. And it's, by the way, it's almost been two years since we released the, the grip. So it's got two years of engineering and R&D built into this. And boy, are the improvements incredible. We think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So this launch is gonna be amazing. Now we have a limited number of rotaries, just 50 of these units, just five zero. They're gonna sell out very, very quickly. So get in very early. Uh, so on the 29th of August, which is tomorrow as of the taping of this video, tomorrow at, what is it, 11 a.m. Eastern. Eastern. Mm -hmm. Eastern. See, we thought about the West Coast folks this time. So 11 a.m. Eastern, these are going to go on sale. We've got 50 of these units, and then we've got 300 of grips and 300 more of Pyburn V5s. So that's going to be fine, but these are going to be limited. So um, we are going to talk about all the improvements, all the improvements, um, and we're going to do it one rotary at a time. What does that mean? We're first going to talk about the Pyburn end, which you got the Pyburn side right here, and then we're going to talk about the grip side of things. So again, this is the Pyburn V5. That's the fifth yes. generation of our best, best in the in class roller rotary. It uses the wheels to create friction and rotate your object for you while the laser engraves. So this is the version five of the rotary. And this is the Grip 2.0. You put these two products together facing each other in this orientation, you get the Omni 2. And that's what we're gonna talk about. So Len, why don't you kick us off and start with the number one uh, improvement here. I got a cheat sheet here for you. <laughs> with the number one improvement that the Pyburn brings to us, the Pyburn 5 over the Pyburn 4. Sure, the Pyburn 5, I would say the biggest improvement are these tires. So there's no more O-rings to lose or get, uh, you know, get dirty. This is much better. These are gonna stay on. They increase friction by a lot. So you can, act, you can now do probably wraps and stuff like that. So they're gonna hold your cup much better. We have these tires on both front and back wheels, as you can see. Right, so here's the thing. We were, um, we love the O-rings. We were probably one of the first companies that put the O-rings on, on wheels for rotaries. We love them, we're moving away from them. Why? If you take a look at the O-ring at the very, very top, there's very little surface area right here. Take that off. This is the O-ring that comes on top of the motorized wheels for the Pyburn V4 and the V3 and the V1 and all the roller, roller rotaries out there. They operate on the basis of this O-ring and if you look really, really closely, the tension, the surface um, area, for, so the friction that gets created is a very small portion of the actual silicon that, that, that are on these rings. So what do we do? We chuck this out. We're never gonna find that again. <laughs> and we replace them with custom made, beautiful, custom Pyburn tires that increase the surface area a lot. So it's gonna reduce any slippage, it's gonna improve the traction that you get with your object. Um, and by the way, the, the clamp has been redesigned as well. You'll talk a little bit about yeah. that. But that's probably the number one best improvement here with these custom tires. Uh, they're gonna give you a lot better action uh, as you engrave. So we have a larger gear reduction now. So there's more steps per rotation, meaning you can do higher uh, resolution of engraving. There's also more torque, so it's, it's gonna handle heavier objects better. So another improvement, the big improvement I would say, is a new tower, because it is much lower, as you can Just see. Just compare the height. Look at the height of this tower, like it's almost, almost up to here, and look at the height of this tower. It is several inches lower, so it's never gonna interfere with the laser head. It in is fact, much slimmer yeah. and lower profile. In fact, it's, awesome. it's almost the same height as the clamp right here. So as well. soon as you put a cup, right, that tower is completely out of the way. As soon as you, you have a cup on there, there's no chance at all imaginable of that laser ever getting, go, getting in contact with the tower. Yeah. But despite it being shorter, the range of motion is actually bigger. It lowers much, much lower. So, as you can see. and we can lift these up. So we have mag feet on here, which we'll also talk about. But it actually, the tires go below the rail. Yeah. They can be configured to go below the rail, which is kind of nice for the lasers that, um, you know, like a boss laser or a thunder laser, where you either put it on a harness or on the laser bed, 
where, where it's not on the blades, you can actually take advantage of that depth and go below the rail, which is really cool. And because there are three positions on the footboard right now, you can lower it even more. So right now it's in the middle position. If you use the lower holes, this is gonna go much lower. If you use higher holes, so when you raise it, it's gonna go much higher, which is great for wine glasses, for example. And for stuff like this. You need, you need a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, um, you know, you need a lot of clearance for something yeah. like that. So, it, it, you know, for, especially for uh, machines with lower Z-depth, you're gonna need to place this down and you, know, you need a lot of room to accommodate this big heavy jug. That's where that's gonna come in handy. So what else? Another huge, huge change is the linear rail. Oh, this thing is amazing, you guys. Now look, let's let's do a contest here. Okay, so they're about in the same in the same position. Len, can you can mm -hmm. can you guys see it? So I've got the uh, Omni 1.0. Len's got the uh, Omni 2.0. So now why don't we adjust it three inches closer to the Pyburn roller end? Okay. Ready, set, go. I'm undoing my. I'm done. Little. Oh, what? That's cheating. So I undid my uh, thumb screw. I moved it and I placed it in hand. So now I'm done. So you saw that. This is one motion versus this. I need two hands, one to undo my thumb screw. I know it's not a big deal, but sometimes it, it adds up when you're doing a lot of objects. And then I need my other hand to move it and it's fixed it in place. It's just better. It's just faster. It's awesome. And that linear rail is what lets you do it. This is the only rotary that I know of that has a linear rail on it. Maybe there are yeah. some others, I don't know. But as far as we're concerned, as far as, far, as, far as like the high end beautiful rotaries, this is the first one to use a linear rail. So with these wheels, with time and vibration, this thing gets loose. That's a good point. And it starts to wobble. Right, right now, it's wobbling slightly. A little bit. Never will happen here. This is always going to be as it is from the beginning. So you'll get rid of the wobble also with time. You see these? You see these wheels? These wheels? They actually come apart with, with after years of use, a lot of use. So that's what creates a little bit of space between these two and this one wheel, and that's what's going to cause the wobble. You can adjust them, you, you can you fix can, the you wobble. You can fix yeah. it, right. but it will never happen. You can fix it, but that linear rail makes that whole wobbling action go away. Clamp, you got to talk a little bit about the clamp. Flip that thing around, talk a little bit about the clamp. The clamp, yes. So Why don't we do a contest? Let's see who can remove the clamp faster. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'm full All of right. good ideas. All right, oh crap, I'm going to show that I really suck at this. Ready? One, two, three, go. Taking off the thumb screw. Done. I got this off. Oh crap, I gotta undo this. No, no, you don't have to do that. No. What am I doing? You, you removed it's the stuck. wrong screw. <laughs> I removed the wrong screw. Whoops. I, I'm, I removed the screw, not the platform. All right, hold on. Thumb screw, thumb screw. Thumb screw is out. I'm done. Good job. Not. <laughs> so you see the difference, right? There's two thumb screws here, so it's a little tricky, even for me. I forgot, and I removed the wrong thumb screw. You can actually remove this. So um, Len did it in like a fraction of a second. It just comes on see, and off. you just latch it on, a couple of turns, and that's it. When would you uh, need to remove the clamp? For yeah, what so objects? when you're doing bottles or something that's too big for the clamp to hold. The baseball bats, exactly, exactly. So you need to remove clamp for that. So and usually, don't worry, you have enough friction from these tires to hold the object, even without clamp. Yeah, but we also have the mega clamp that is going to be compatible with this too. We have the mega clamp that if you're, you are doing a bottle and you need that extra friction, maybe it's really heavy, maybe it's slippery, whatever. That, that mega clamp that goes from, um, from the outside, not from the inside, from the outside of the object and it clamps down, that's going to have you covered. So that's awesome. Okay, so those are the improvements for the Pyburn V5 over the Pyburn V4. Now I got to say, the Pyburn V4 it's an amazing rotary. This thing has engraved hundreds of thousands of tumblers, you guys, right? People absolutely love it. We've shipped thousands of these units. People absolutely love it. So if you're getting the FOMO, don't worry. If the Pyburn V4 works for you, God bless, use it. It can serve for years. We still have Pyburn V2s out there, V3s. We just had a video on the Pyburn Labs forum. Go look it up. He, you know, uh, uh, Cappy, uh, you know, a, re a really good uh, customer of ours. He's still using his uh, V3 on over three and a half thousand tumblers and it's still doing great. It's a workhorse. So yes, are these better? They're a lifestyle improvement. They're a user experience improvement, but functionally the older rotaries are just fine. So no FOMO guys, get it if you want the very, very best. If you're fine, you're fine. Okay, so that's the V5. Now we're gonna talk about the Grip 2.0. We're yeah. so, so excited, really. 
Len outdone himself here. We, we actually have an engineer, Eugene. This thing is beautifully over-engineered, as I like to say. We've thought of everything, and this thing is incredible. So Len, why don't you take us through some of these improvements over the Grip 1? Sure. So the first thing you're probably going to notice is six jaws. So we have something called jaw doubler, which is patent pending device. It basically doubles the jaws. So now you have so much more uh, friction, so much tension on the cups that you don't even need backstop for most objects, unless it's like super, super heavy, and super long. So it's gonna hold it better, and it's gonna, uh, it's actually much faster to attach, to align the cup. It's gonna be perfectly aligned every time. It's awesome. So you got six. That's that's better than three. Yeah. And by the way, six fingers, what does that mean? It reduces the load on each of the finger jaws. So after years of use, we notice sometimes that the silicon on top of these, they get little indentations. So then you have to swap fingers places. Sometimes you have to go out and buy another, which, which is fine. We sell them, but you might need to replace them if you're doing thousands of tumblers a month, which some of our customers do. So this reduces the load on each of those fingers. So they're going to last longer. They're going to grip better. It's just a win-win. This is the, this is the, Really, really nice improvement here. Um, and yeah, if what you else have we something got? long but light and you don't need back support, you can actually remove back support too, so you're gonna have more room. Great, that's awesome. Yeah. That's another good point. So yeah, so this is this is amazing. Um, we've got height ad adjustment. So okay, now we're gonna do another little contest. I'm gonna do grip 1.0, of course. Now. Len is better with this equipment than I am, so I'm gonna take a little longer, but I'm gonna try switch? my best. You wanna switch? Oh yeah, let's switch, yes, this time <laughs> I'm gonna win. So look, <laughs> this is now set to the same height. So we've got the Grip 2.0 set to the same, this can go even higher, by the way, right? But we had it set to about the same height right here. This is so, the highest position. So this, this is the highest one. position, by the way, this can go higher, so, so the range is better with the Grip. You can do more items. The range is better, that's another thing. So this one is set to the same height as this. Now we're gonna do a contest, who can go faster? We need to lower it, let's say, two inches. So you need to lower two holes on this bracket right here. And I need to lower it two inches. Are two we holes? ready? Okay. Lower it two holes. Ready? Right. Yep. Set. Go. Done. Wait. <laughs> hey. Yes, yes. That's not fair. Hold and on. Done. Just like that. You saw that. You I am actually going as fast you, as I can, believe it or not. You can go as fast as you can. You might you might need some help, Len. Do you okay. need help? No, no, no. I'm good. Are you Hold sure? on. I just have to align this I've been done. here. I've been done. I've been done. I'm well, do shut crap. up. <laughs> I'm taking a uh, little nap. All right. That was good. Good job. So we just demonstrated the, the, the massive, massive improvement in usability of this lift mechanism for the grip. And it is so solid and steady, you guys. This thing is a beast of a machine. It just looks more industrial from the... Just from the way that the CNC metal looks and feels, the way it operates, it is just a beautiful, beautiful machine. And what an improvement. Look at the range of movement. movement. The, the, the range, range of movement is amazing. I mean, this can go, this can go really, really high, you guys. Keep going, keep going. We're still going. Keep going. We're still going. Keep going. We're still going. <laughs> what? You can, you can actually do buckets with yes. Yeti buckets. So this machine has done Yeti buckets, Yeti beverage buckets, which are uh, almost 11 inches in diameter and five and a half pounds in weight. So this is very, very high, you guys. You can imagine that you could pretty, pretty much do anything. And it's still anything. stable. And by the way, with the extenders, you can do you can do that stuff. Very, very steady, just feels so solid, so easy to operate. It's, it's truly a pleasure to operate. And look how low it goes. It goes all the way down, yeah. Awesome, so that that is a big improvement. And then of course, we've got the gear reduction. Oh, You yes. wanna swap back yes. and talk about that? All right, we did a little shuffle, but Len, please talk about the gear reduction. So that For is some a... lasers, it's very important. Exactly. So the thing is, with Pyburn, before you always had gear reduction, so you always had higher resolution. That's right. With Grip, unfortunately, it's a direct motor coupling, so it's one-to-one. -one. So if your laser is set to 2,000 steps, that's what you're going to get, 2,000 steps. So if you're trying to engrave something really large, you're going to have some gaps or lines sometimes. So you yeah. have to increase your steps per rotation. Now, this has a gear reduction which is even better than Pyburn version so 4. So it's even more precise. It's more precise. There's more torque. So when you're doing high objects, it's not, it's not just going to easily slip. And it's not going to weigh or shake back and forth, even if it's a heavier exactly, object that exactly. needs a lot, a lot of torque. This creates more torque because it moves, it moves more. With, it has more leverage because that yeah, gear reduction. Exactly, exactly. So this is really important, especially for machines which are set, like Omtex, which are yeah. set to two to 5,000 steps per rotation. So with some Omtex, 
and Don will know this, you need to reduce the, you need to increase the steps on your driver. And we don't like telling people to do that. But if you want the pristine quality engraves, especially on diagonal lines, if you look really closely, you might get a wavy line if the steps are set too low on the machine. Most machines you're not even gonna notice, yeah. but in the, some machines you do. This makes it go away. Never have to touch DAP switches again. Because of the gear reduction, you're gonna get a perfect engrave every time. So that was a big, big thing that we needed to do. And it took us a while to do it right. As you can see, the mechanism is completely hidden inside, so it won't get dusty and it won't get dirty and stuff like that. It is completely hidden inside of this, um, inside of this protective case. Yep. And then we've got the tilt. Look at this, guys. So you can tilt, obviously, on a grip. So you need to use these two thumb screws. You tilt at the angle that you want. You mm -hmm. tighten them together. It works. It's not bad. Yeah. Now, so this just one, one hand. One hand. You adjust it. There's actually a degree scale. Right, so you, so you know how many degrees up and yes. down you're looking. And then you fixate you it just like that. It and that's it. It's not it is just a thing of beauty. It is beautiful. And you've got this little level right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a green little level, a nifty little level, right at the top of the mm -hmm. fiber and grit, 2.0, right here. So it'll tell you when you're straight every single time. So now this is not going to be super helpful when you're using tapered, op, uh, tapered cups, but if you're using straight tumblers like the Save Cup straight uh, skinny uh, or a straight Save Cup maker tumbler, this is going to be great. Just like that, you level it out just on the rotary. So on top of this, this chuck is made more precise, so there's actually less wobble. There's almost no wobble. It's, so it's not going to be out of round when it's turning. Right. It's going to be perfectly round. It's, it's a precision, precision yeah. piece of machinery. We're really, really proud of this. Um, easy to operate, extremely powerful, versatile, capable. And we think you guys are going to absolutely love this thing. So pre-orders do start tomorrow. We're going to post this video up tonight on the site, on Pyburn Labs, wherever you find it. Give us a shout, leave a comment, tell us what you think. Reach out to us, we wanna hear from you. Participate in the community, engage. We're all out there to see you succeed. So please join us, engage, and we love, we're gonna see you out there. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. See you next time. Take care, bye. Bye.